Hi guys, welcome back to the pink envelope. I have the deco crated winter box. Can I just say that this color of green is working for me? I think this box is gorgeous. And I'm super, super, super hoping that the stuff inside is reflective of these colors because this is fabulous. We're gonna dive through and open and measure everything in the winter box, and then we're gonna go decorate it like we always do. But first, look at this box. This is the Deco Created Christmas box. This box, out of all of the boxes, sells out that fast. It is one of those viral crazy boxes, and it looks like somehow they outdid all the other boxes they've ever done in the past. I am so excited. I am not going to open this. We are going to open this later and then it'll release a little bit after this guy. But I just had to show you how stinking cute the decorated Christmas box was. As soon as I hear more and I know I have a release date for that, I will share it with you guys. But for the winter box here, it is $79.99 a quarter. You get them seasonally, so four boxes a year. If you prepay for your entire year, you get a bigger savings on each box, but you can also use coupon code pink envelope 15 for $15 off a quarterly, which is one box or an annual, which is four box subscription. If you have never seen deco created boxes before, you're going to fall in love for the rest of you who are deco created subscribers. This is a spoiler. I'm about to show you guys everything that is going to come in your deco created winter 2021 box. So if you do not want to know, you need to X out I, so I won't ruin it for you. This is heavy. The little envelope on top is heavy. Oh, the booklet's the same color as that. That was awkward. The booklet is the same color as the box. Oh, it has the stickers that are the same color as the box. It has the double-sided art print, which this one says just happy holidays. Once again, the green. I think the green's sticking, I'm very excited. And baby, it's cold outside. This is one of my favorite wintertime phrases. I even put the ringtone on my cell phone and that starts October and it ends in February. I have, where's the sticker Yeti? Bum, bum, bum. So this is the last decorated sticker, see how it's blue? Here is the new green one. I don't think I'm gonna put on the sticker Yeti, but my daughter has a sticker Folder? I wonder if she would want it. Hey, Emma, do you have your sticker binder? Yeah, do you have it? Bring it in here. Do you want to put one of these in? Come over here on this side. Folder right here. Which one of these do you want to add to your sticker binder? The long one or the circle one? The circle one. There you go. Put it in the most perfect of spaces. Hey, that looks good. All right, it's official. The sticker binder is repping Deco Created Christmas or winter. Winter. Looks good on there. Yep, it does. All right, thank you. Well, that didn't take long to share those stickers. Inside is also information on the One Thrive boards. I will put up my coupon code right here if you're interested in purchasing a One Thrive wall organization slash calendar system. I love mine and I say mine with an S because I have two of them and I actually am looking to get a third one. I have my home office, I have my family and I'm thinking I need a kid, kid board that goes upstairs for kids and pets. I love them. Welcome to winter time. And right inside it has the color palette, the artist and a little welcome greeting. And then past there it dives into all the pieces that are right there. We're not looking. We're gonna look at the real thing, not the sneak peek. All right, let's slide it down here so we can see better. Ugh. You guys, you guys, I love this. I love, love these colors. So we have in here, oh, it's a set of two. It's a set of two double-sided pillowcases. So one side looks like this, and it's a black and white, but there's actually striping in the stripes. And then the other side is this print. That is super cool. So here they are together. That looks so good, you guys. I love these together. I love that we got two pillowcases. 
I'm all about that. We got a green throw in one of our boxes. I wanna say it was winter 2019 that we got this green throw. It's out on my patio now. We still use it, it's amazing. They would look so cute with these pillowcases. And these are great quality. I think this might be the best quality material we have ever received on our pillowcases. I cannot wait for you guys to feel them. They're thicker, they're incredibly soft. Yes, I am all about this. And for those of you who are new around here, if you unzip your pillowcase and you flip it, it will tell you the size of pillow that you need. I have this measured in the notes below. I have linked my favorite pillows that I use as inserts for the inside, um, but you can always just read the tag on the inside to grab the sizing. Well, this is an excellent start. These are awesome, awesome. Okay, I love that Decorated takes care of those. Any of the boxes that are just filler to protect your items, they label with empty so you can easily just toss them to the side. They do such a great job of packing everything so that it won't break. We got greenery. We got greenery, you guys. I am so surprised to see greenery in here. Was it my last decorate with me that I said, oh, everything on here except the greenery from Decorated, they don't send greenery. Stand corrected, hello. This is so cute. This green goes with this green that goes with that green. I am loving this. The quality on this is great. And if you've hung around here at all, you know I'm really picky when it comes to greenery. It is really cute. And I love that they used a hoop. You could hang it. There is a circle here to hang it from, but I'm not gonna lie, a lot of me is wanting to hang it at an angle like this. So, I mean, you could still put a, a nail or a screw there and then another one hidden back here to give it that angled look. This guy is one foot across. So the diameter is 12 inches. I have to think about that. I don't know what the circumference is, but very, very cute. I mean, look, what in the world? It's a little bear. Is it like the Christmas tree set that we got last time? In a fox. How stinking cute. Is that a, a squirrel, squirrel slash bunny? Look at these little winter characters. So if you guys are watching this and you're new and you're like, hey, this is all very winter themed, where's the Christmas? That's what this is. This is Christmas decor. This is holiday slash winter decor. They have two separate boxes that do two separate things. And so if you do not celebrate Christmas or you don't decorate for Christmas, this is your box. This is the winter box and it focuses on evergreens and in general wintry things like little winter animals. These are so stinking cute. So this little bunny squirrel guy is four inches tall by four inches wide. The polar bear is three inches tall by four inches wide. And the fox is four inches tall by two and a half inches wide. So they're super cute. They would look phenomenal on the sleigh shelf. I already have so many ideas flowing through my head right now. The Christmas trees in the background, you guys. I'm gonna have y'all vote right here while looking. Okay, right here, I'll zoom in. Which one's the cutest? I think the fox is my favorite, but I'm very interested to hear which one you think is the cutest. Very good job, Decorated. Very good job. So in the Decorated boxes, you get six to eight items. We're already at one, two, three, and we'll count them as a group. Four, but there's really three items there. So I'm guessing I'm opening five, number five right here. What in the world? Oh, it's a tray. I was thinking wall. That is cute. So we've received a few trays over the years but we have not received anything this shape or this color. I am very much digging this guy. You could hang it, honestly, look at that. Like it's not, the back of it's just flat. But if you got a command strip, you could absolutely hang it like that and then put a centerpiece. You could adhere these guys to create something. You could hang it like that if you wanted to. You could create the cutest little winter scene with these guys. And if you notice the color tones are all complimentary right here, 
I'm loving it. The tray is a great size. It is 15 and a half long. And at its widest point, it is 10 and a half wide. The outer bars right here are screwed in, as you can see. So if you are not a fan of black, maybe you wanted to do this red or pink or gold or whatever, you could easily unscrew them spray paint them or paint the shelf and put it back together really easily if you wanted to hack it in some way. Okay, so I feel like I need to move these guys over here because they look so cute together. So we have one more larger item in here. It looks like a wall art. <laughs> so this is the back of it. I can see that it's got hangers. That is cool, you guys. So the wood tone matches the tray and the animals. So they could, these could all go together. But it's actually a, a punch out, a cutout. And it does have hangers, sawtooth hangers on the back to hang it. But obviously, you could set it as well. That's gorgeous, you guys. That is really awesome. So like if you did this on a wall with the tray and the little animals and then the trees from whatever box that is that are this color, that is so stinking cute. I love this cutout. Well done. Okay, so how big is this guy? He is 16 inches long by 12 inches tall and about an inch thick. And for you, those of you who are like super creative artsy fartsy people, y'all are gonna be able to design on these. Like automatically I was thinking uh, flocking would look cute or a glitter to make it have a iridescent 3D look that you could pin light. There's a lot that could be done. And this shelf is actually wide enough. You could glue more things to interact. And because there's a back, you could glue things in the back to add elements. There's a lot that can be done with this. Or if you're a little bit more like me, you might not do anything and just hang it on the wall and enjoy it. Really cool. So well, let's look back in here. Oh, and I have a tendency to forget the double-sided art print that goes with all of this. So they have this wreath. Look at my little wood, my forest creatures. They have this guy hanging above a mantle. Looks so cute there. And they have the art print and the little sign with the animals around it. Oh, look, they showed the pillow with the blanket I referenced. That's really gonna be cute together. And I don't have this tray with me, but I can, I'll pull it out later. But that tray coordinates really, really well with that evergreen print on it. This is cute, you guys. This is super cute. And if you're new around here, there's those of us who like to decorate with the items. So I'm about to show you how I decorate. But if you just get the catalog, they show you a lot of ways to decorate as well. And this comes in your box. They show you also how to mix and match your box, your current box with past box items as well as recommend things from the online shop that you can order and add on. Ooh, look at these little houses right here. Those little houses with the animals and the Christmas tree. Cute, cute, cute. Ooh, and look at the set of the three ceramic trees. They're all three white. That's gonna be available in the online shop too as well. Looks super cute with this. Those trees in this piece, you guys, you guys. Okay, if you have not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification. So the minute this releases, you are the first to know about it. Use my coupon code here to sign up and at least get your seasonal box so that you have access to the exclusive Christmas box. That box is only available to decorated members and that box goes so fast, you guys. If you are on the live release at midnight with me right now, Thank you so much for being here. I love that you guys stop everything you're doing. Some of you stay up till the, literally the middle of the night. It's only 11 p.m. Central here just to open this with me. And it means the world to me that you guys do that. Wrapping up this portion, going on vacation, but you guys won't have to wait because uh, I'm gonna put the decorating right behind this. So let's go decorate. Okay guys, we're back and I am super excited to decorate my mantle, of course. I've got it completely stripped down, wiped down clean, and it's ready for decorating. I had a really tricky time decorating this season because I had so many things I wanted to do. 
So if you wanna see a really simple Christmas setup, watch my very first Deco Created unboxing. It was 2019, you can click up here to see it. It's a very basic design, very clean design. To see the exact opposite of that, like the ultimate of crazy busy winter throw up on your mantle design, you're gonna wanna click up here to the 2020 design. I have a DIY fall leaf garland that I have the URL below in my description for you guys. Completely how to do it step by step with the supplies you need, which is all from your backyard and how to assemble it to make that garland. But if you don't wanna do that, you can go buy one as well. And then it has the complete design and the design wraps the whole thing and it's very much a blue frosty winter wonderland. This time we're doing a completely different design. It is gonna be a third look for you guys so that you have three options to think about when designing. And let's start that now. At the end of this video, I really want you guys to tell me which of the three designs is your favorite. Do you like the simplistic? Do you like the definitely more complex winter wonderland from 2020? Or do you like the design I'm doing here? which you'll get to see at the end of this video. Let me know which one is your favorite. I'm super intrigued to see because all three of these are so different. Okay, let's get started. So if you've watched my videos before, you're already gonna notice something different. I'm not starting with an anchor piece in the center. I know. I shocked even myself that I am not doing an anchor piece. We're gonna start with garland and I have two garlands from Hobby Lobby. They are not from the Christmas section. I don't know, it just says the greenery garland, six foot, $39.99, of course I got them 50% off, so I got two of them for $40. They have more of what my mom described as a swampy look. I think they have the perfect outdoorsy look, and I wanna start by draping those across the mantle. So to give you an idea on how much of this I'm using, this mantle is 58 inches across, so basically it's just shy of six foot, and I'm using two six foot garlands to achieve this look. This garland's kind of funky because it has long strands. So you kind of got to get the center of it upright and shake the rest of it down so it will droop like this. And so I do want some of this falling through here as you can see, but I want a pretty long tail as well. These do have the hooks at the end that I've shown you before. They're just a little more buried than the other designs if you need to hook these, which is one of my favorite features that they add to garlands. Same thing with this one. You're gonna kinda of try to find the center and shake it downward to get those strands falling. I know I don't want really, really big strands in here, so what you don't want, you can just tuck back, like literally, you can drape all the way over, or you can swag if you want, depending on the look you're trying to achieve. So this is the base for my <laughs> Christmas, and I know it's a little off compared to Christmas standards, but I was super inspired as soon as I pulled out the little animals from our box to do a more natural, maybe even old world Christmas look. I do have this unbalanced. You can do this balance if you want. I just like when designs don't fall symmetrically. Okay, now for this. I got three of these garland to go on top of the other garland, also from Hobby Lobby. They are from the Christmas shop. They're $12.99 each. Of course, once again, they're 50% off right now. And they're called the 3D Garland by Heartland Holiday. And they have little pine cones, little berries, obviously bells all the way down them. These suckers get tangled so easily. So if you go get these, have them put them in bags individually or you're going to spend a great deal of time just untangling these. But this is what I'm going to use to give this garland back here a little bit more of a holiday winter feel, Christmas feel, depending on how you're styling. I'm going to drape them in the design. So I'm gonna set this guy here. I'm not pulling the tags on these. I actually use those tags to slide under the heavier items across the mantle to keep the garland from falling off without ever having to use any tape, glue, anything. So I leave those on a lot of the time because they work as anchors to hold your piece in place. 
On these, I love everything except for this bright green little sprout you're seeing here. Literally looks like something that came out of a fish tank. So I am going to drape this across the mantle and in any of the places this bright green is sticking out, I'm gonna take my wire cutters and cut it at the base to get rid of it. I mean, I would not be halfway surprised if my kids grabbed it and put it in their fish tank. That's what it looks like, it's not cute. And then I'm gonna take this third one and put it across the center just to give us a little more thickness through the middle. I do want some of these drooping and draping in the front. I don't want everything on the same dimension. These are just three red books. I, when I'm at thrift stores or I'm at resale stores, I always just kind of run over to the book section to make sure they don't have any cute books. On average, I pay two to four dollars for books. Four dollars for the larger, two dollars for about this size. And I keep a myriad of colors on a bookshelf and they look super cute. But whenever I'm going into design, I can always pull them off that bookshelf and use them for risers and various things. So that's what I'm gonna use these for today. I'm gonna stack the three of them to make a riser back behind the garland. I really want this to have a cute winter feel, not a Christmas feel. So I'm putting just touches of red throughout the design. I bought these also from Hobby Lobby. I actually bought these last year and they're the bottle brush trees. They were trendy last year, they're trendy this year. I happen to love them, they're super cute. I'm gonna stack them on those three books. Just a little something, something like that to give a cute little pop of texture, but not too much color to really kind of keep that natural look. And then to balance the other side, I'm pulling this tray, Deco Craters. What box did this tray come in? I cannot remember but it has the same print that we've seen for the last two or three years throughout the design. So it incorporates with a ton of things, but this came in one of the boxes. I'm gonna put this guy up here, and then this is part of the set of three books. Which box did the stack of three, I think it was spring, stack together as a stack of three books, but I use these as risers all the time as well. Today it's gonna be a riser for another bottle bus tree. Remember these two cuties? I've used them in every design since we've gotten them. Super easy, I mean, I've used them in about five different designs I've shared with you guys. I'm just gonna stack these right back here. The two candlesticks are actually on that book I just showed you to be a riser. The bottle brush is flat on the mantle. Disclaimer, you're not supposed to burn real candles on those candle holders. I do, however, you're not supposed to. There's a sticker on there that does say that. And then to fill this space, it probably doesn't look as empty to you guys, but if you're coming in from this angle out of the kitchen looking in, there's a gap right here. I just got a cute little red candle that smells so good. I love, love candles. This is a cinnamon embers. I'm just gonna put it right here on the corner. And so now we've got a little bit of symmetry or balance into the design. I wanna show you what I'm doing with the wreath that we got in our box as well as the little animals. So here is our wreath. You're gonna notice it looks a little bit different. I added in the sprigs that I have throughout my Christmas decor. So if you have not seen, I took an old garland that was dated and gross and added in all of the different silver dollar eucalyptus and berries to create a more modern design. If you wanna see how to build that garland, and it's like a six or seven foot long garland. You can go down below, I have the link on how I stripped down an old piece to make it brand new again. I took those and added it to this so that the design is cohesive. Literally, if you look right here, you can see the floral wire where I added those in to tie this piece into my design. And then, up here on my mantle, I have two nails side by side. It was like that when I bought the house and I have fallen in love with it because if I have something extremely heavy to hang, I'm set. If I have something that's a little off balance, I'm set. I have used that double nail system so many times and it came in clutch again for this design because watch this. The nail on the left, I'm gonna put through this hole to hold it and I'm gonna use the other nail to play counter so that I can get it to hang like this. Right, I am loving the double nail system. I highly recommend it. Just put them two side by side, 
One of them is slightly higher than the other, but it has allowed me to do all sorts of crazy things like hooked at it at an angle without having to use any sticky tapes or anything. If you don't have a double nail system, you can get the double sticky tape, put a couple pieces on the back and just stick it to the wall. That same roll of tape I recommend for all of my different designs. Heads up, I'll move this guy real quick. It will take the paint off. So see right here where I'm pointing? <laughs> it, will, it will take the paint off. It is sticky, but oh so worth it. You can just put more paint on. I have the crate. Hey, Deco Critters, what year did this crate come in? I'm so thankful that I can just ask that and you guys pop this up because it would be here forever trying to research because I just can't remember it all. I use this crate for all sorts of things. This time I'm gonna lay it on its side. I keep a bag with the screws in it. This is the screws that hold the two plaques. I just always set it inside or I tape it to the back back here so that I don't ever lose those. I'm gonna use it as a riser. And this is an example of a piece for those tags in the garland. I'm gonna slide them underneath to help keep that garland in place. And I'm just gonna put this little tree. I also got this guy from Hobby Lobby last year. Looks like they're like $5 each to go right inside here to add some depth. And then I'm excited about this. Remember our, is it a sled or a sleigh? Sled, I think we decided it's a sled shelf. I took the screws out of the back of it and I had those in another bag, and just pushed it up. So you can see the screw hole right here in the back. This is where it used to be. So I, I lifted it by that amount so that there's no hanging below now. Now it sits flat like a shelf. I don't have to hang it. Whereas before when it was down, this arch part was at the bottom and it wouldn't sit because it would rotate side to side. So that's a little mini hack I did to this guy so that I could put him up here. And this is where I want to go get all of our little creatures. Literally, the bottle brush trees, everything stemmed off of these three guys, which I absolutely love. They are so stinking cute. I'm gonna put them on my sleigh shelf. Sled shelf, sled shelf. And if you're new around here, the sled shelf came in our box last year. Winter or Christmas, Deco Craters, winter or Christmas. It came in one of those. All right, I had to kind of fiddle with that a little bit. I'm going to add the calendar from Decorator's box. I don't remember which one it came in. This is the calendar it came in one of the Decorator box. Decorators, if you could hook it up and give it the date, that'd be awesome. I'm gonna add three mini bottle brushes that match the bigger ones, as well as my box to create that bottom shelf with these guys. And then on the top shelf, I'm gonna add another one of these little trees from Hobby Lobby and my other two little creatures that are so cute. Like it's coming together nicely. It's very different from all of my past designs. So I'm hoping it's helpful to, helpful to you guys who perhaps didn't quite resonate with one of the other two designs. Maybe this one is your design. And because I like things to be full and lush, I'm gonna take the last two books from that book stack I mentioned earlier and use them as risers again. And then I'm gonna start with the baby is cold outside in my frame and I'm gonna add that right up here. And then to the garland, just to kind of give this one side a little more weight and make it anchor more, I wanna add these guys. Also from Hobby Lobby, they're $14.99 each, of course I got them 50% off, are these bells, which are tangled, there we go. Uh, I don't know why they're tied two different ways, but they are and I made sure that I pulled ones that were tied two different ways. I'm actually gonna hang them both from this side to create a little more of a holiday fill using those books I told you about earlier to hold these tags. Okay, I think that adds a little more weight on that side and a little more of a holiday feel. And then those ugly green like this guy right here, I cannot handle that, you guys. It is too fish tanky, I just can't. So I'm gonna snip every one of those off the design so that we do not have those super bright, fakey green pops coming up. And then I'm quite simply gonna add the pillow over here on the corner. My kids are used to seeing the pillows here. They grab them and curl up on them and I think it looks really cute with the design. So I'm only adding one of the pillows here because I wanna show you where I have the other pillow as well as the tray 
and the winter tree art. So let's slide over to design two so you can look at that. But first, you have to tell me, do you like the simple design from 2019, the super complex wintry design from 2020, or the more natural, slightly old style Christmas from 2021? Okay, spot number two. So I like mixing and matching woods, but not too many at a time. And since I had two other wood tones over there, I decided to bring the tray and the sign over here to put with my woodland creatures. And I have had these guys for years. So I was so excited to pull out the little wooden creatures. So let me walk you through this little space I created on this side. Okay, so I'm super excited about this little setup. As you can see here, this shelf is so stinking cute on this larger shelf. I took the three Christmas trees, deco craters, what box was those from? I think last year's Christmas, maybe? And put them on there and I'm loving the way that turned out. Then I have the little village, which is also from a past deco crated box. And I think it looks so cute up there. But I think my all time favorite is sliding down the shelf to these two. I mean, I already own that little fox and he looks so perfect with the Winterland cutout from this year's box. I love it. And then I threw, oh yeah, the star. We got the star in last year's box, Christmas or winter. Ooh, one of those. And it's super cute. I guess it could be considered a snowflake. It's easy to hang or prop as you can see. And I threw the other pillow from this year over into the basket. This is also another deco crated pillow and a deco crated blanket. Okay, Justin, when I was filming this, I just had an idea. Y'all know how I always have the two wreaths on my door. What if we put this year's wreath on? I think if you have a set of French doors, it would look so stinking cute to put this wreath on the door. So look. You could get a smaller hook. I have a big one, but that would be easy to replace. But if you bought an additional one off the Decocrated Marketplace group on Facebook from someone who didn't want theirs, oh my goodness, it would be so cute as a set on the French doors. Okay, guys, we're done decorating, at least for this hot five seconds. If you have not already, please subscribe to the channel. We have Decorate With Me's coming up where I use a ton of Decocrated stuff in various places throughout my home and show you how to do DIY garlands, DIY wreaths, and how I just mix and match my decor. It is so much fun. I wanna say thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this long, I super appreciate you being here. Share with a friend. If you know someone who loves to decorate, home decor subscription boxes are so much fun. The community is amazing. The decorating is awesome. We always have a super great year decorating together. If you want more information about Decorated, go down below. I use my descriptions. To, for information to help you guys. It is not full of random affiliate links. It is full of measurements from each of the products, references on DIY projects, and any kind of link I can provide that will help you have more fun with Decorated. You guys are amazing. I hope that you have an absolutely wonderful winter season, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, y'all.